So in the last episode, we have signed up on DigitalOcean using the link in the description and you will get the $10 credit in your DigitalOcean to test with DigitalOcean droplets or the server. And also we have logged in to our server and changed the password from the default password. But in this episode, we are going to create the SSH key and also going to restrict the login from the root and we will create a new user to enhance the security of our server. So let's see how we can create that. I am on the server. I have already logged in here and then I will create a new tab here. To create SSH key, you have to type SSH hyphen key gen then you have to specify the type or the encryption one is ed25519 other is rsa i think there is something dsa i'm going to use rsa because it is quite famous then we have to provide how many bytes you want to give so i will say 4096 because 1024 multiplied by 4 is 4096 and then the c flag as an identifier so i will say server that's nice it's creating the file and here it's asking for new name i have already id underscore rsa so i can't create that it will overwrite that and now i have to create a new one so i will paste the whole path then i will say id underscore server so passphrase i'm not going to give any kind of passphrase it will enhance one more layer of security by giving the passphrase for your SSH key with SSH key you can only log in from your computer where the private SSH key is placed on your computer like so this will enhance one more security one security is that no one can log in from SSH key other than your computer but if your computer can be accessed by many people you want to restrict login then over SSH key there is passphrase so I'm not going to give that that's okay and you can see the SSH key is created to see where SSH key is placed I will go to CD then dot ssh folder and list out everything and you can see we have id underscore server and id underscore server dot pub dot pub stands for public one and this key we will go and share with other server or other uh, services like this server we will go and share with that and then when we connect via ssh key to any other service whom we have given the public key it will match with private key and then provide you the access so let's now cat id underscore server dot pub remember to copy dot pub and i will pipe it with pb copy so it will open and copy in the clipboard so we have that on our clipboard and now on the root of this uh, server I will say ll to list out everything and you can see we have this dotted ssh and this time I will go inside ssh so dot ssh and once more authorized key we have so let's open this authorized key with vim so we will say vim auth and press tab to auto complete this and now paste that first s is not there so go at the top type s and then press escape colon w q w q stands for save and quit okay so hit enter and it's configured so this means if i now exit from here and you can see i'm on mac so now if i try to log in with ssh only so ssh then hyphen identifier identifier is inside dot ssh and id underscore server and i don't have to provide pub because pub for public and we are going to say okay match with this private key okay then root at an ip address which is 139.59.95.200 okay that's good and try to hit enter and see the magic you can see we have bypassed the password layer that means we don't have to provide the password for logging into this 
user and that's good but you will say Sarthak, that's a easy way but what the big benefit of using ssh key to show that thing i will create a new user and what i'm trying to do i'm trying to restrict the login with the root i'm trying to restrict login with the password you can see we can log in with ssh key or with the password we have for this user so we will restrict both of these things and only allow the new user we will create with ssh key so let's say add user and username is bitfumes and it asking for new password for bitfumes user so let's give the password and some details but i'm not going to give any detail and that's it this means i can go to this bitfumes user so sudo sudo stands for administrator this means the command you are going to run is as a admin as an administrator so switch user so su sudo su bitfumes and you can see we have now changed the user so let's go to base path okay and now if i try to go back to root sudo su switch user to root okay it's asking for password but here is the problem you can see we cannot run any sudo command because bitfumes user is not a sudoer not a sudoer means it's not an admin again so let's make bitfumes as a sudoer so exit from here and we will land on root user so let's say user mod hyphen a then g then we have to say admin and which user we want to provide as admin so bitfumes great nothing happens it look like nothing happens but if i now try to say sudo su bitfumes and yes that's okay and again sudo su root and with the password you can see we have switched to root user so let's once more go to bitfumes user and configure oops configure the ssh key so if i try to see there is no dot ssh folder if there is not dot ssh folder there will be no authorized key file so let's create mkdir dot ssh directory so go inside dot ssh we are on dot ssh folder okay and now here i will create a new file called authorized and remember z on the authorized not s and then keys and remember s in the keys plural okay open this and we have to paste that file we have so once more copy this from here paste it and similarly one more s escape colon wq enter and yes so let's exit from here once more exit from here once more exit from here why this kind of exits the as we have switched between the user we have to log out between the users similarly so once more exit and okay so now i will say ssh with the identifier of dot ssh id underscore server and not dot pub we don't have to provide pub then this time bitfumes at 139 dot and what that uh, 59.95.200 uh, easy okay let's try to log in and you can see we have logged in as a bitfumes user without providing any kind of password but how we will restrict the login with password and how we will restrict any type of login from root because root also can log in with ssh key so let's now open as a sudo vim and then we have to say etc then ssh then sshd underscore config okay provide the password yeah this file so if i scroll down you can see there is permit root login so i will say this as no to go into insert mode i will press i and no then again go to the bottom and here is the new thing password authentication so here also 
No. This means we have restricted the login with password, also restricted the any kind of login with root. So press escape colon wq save and quit and that's good. So exit from here and we are on our Mac. Then let's try SSH root at 139.59.95.200. I remember this great and then hit enter and it's asking for password. Why is that? We have done everything correct. So let's go inside the server and do one thing to have everything done. So go inside. Okay, we just have to do one thing. Every time you change any kind of configuration to any kind of service, you have to restart that service as a sudo. So sudo service and services SSH and just say restart and done. This means if I now try to log in, you can see it's not asking for password. It says permission denied. Similarly, if I say SSH bitfumes at 139.59.95.200, it's also restricted. But here is the cool part. We can still log in with bitfumes as the SSH. Similarly, if I try to log in with SSH to root, let's see what happened. It's not asking you, it's not giving you permission to go to server because we have told the SSH that restrict any kind of login from root. This means only way to go to server is via SSH key to Bitfumes user. So this is great, great functionality and great enhancement in our server security. So if you have any doubt, feel free to message me and don't forget to share with this video with others so that everyone get the knowledge of best thing called Laravel and also server configuration. So don't forget to subscribe like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Bye-bye.